to view this uh, video tutorial, what we're going to do in this short video, ho hopefully short video, is we're going to install Group Policy Manager. In order to do that, we need our server to be a domain controller. So to get started, I'll go ahead and log in. And this is just where I happened to leave off last time. All right, to check to see if this is already a domain controller, what I can do is I'll go to Start and to Administrative Tools. I do not see anything in there for users and computers or any Active Directory or any domain controller type things in here. So what I want to do, the easiest way in Server 2008 is go to the Server Manager. And then what I'm going to want to do is uh, add a role. So I in Server Manager, I select Roles and I want to add roles. There's some information here for you to read. I recommend reading through that, but for the bit purposes of this video, we'll skip through it. And I want to add Active Directory Domain Services. We'll do this, and then after this, we'll still have another step to do. We'll need to actually promote this to a domain controller. So there's some important stuff to read through here. Uh, it tells you after you install the Active Directory domain service using the Active Directory service installation wizard that we need to run DC Promo, which it promotes the uh, server to a domain controller. So we're, we install this, this role first, and then following this install, we will actually do the promotion process which takes just a moment. This first part of installing the Active Directory Domain Services role should take about 10 to 15 minutes depending on your hardware. Uh, this looks like it's about to be finished so we'll move on to the next step here in just a moment. Now it looks like our installation was successful and we will go ahead and click close for this we're not quite a domain controller yet so the next thing that we need to do is come down to the start menu and we're going to run DC promo uh, dot exe it may work without typing dot exe I just always type it in uh, so we can also see it here in the in the program so we're going to actually run this it's going to take, take a few minutes for this to run as well and what this is actually doing is this is actually making our standalone server into a domain controller so there will be some more there will be some more information for you to read here and I strongly encourage you to read that and this is going to be my first domain controller uh, that I'm putting in if we were adding this to an existing domain then we would choose the other option and there would be a different install process but since this is the first uh, domain controller in my network I will enter this, create your domain. There's different things to consider when creating your domain name. If you actually own the domain name that you want to use, uh, there's some things to consider there. You do not have to own that domain name. Um, that's another topic. So I'm, I'm connecting, I'm creating my domain. I'm going to name it after myself. So it'll be the name of my domain will be yerby.com. And this says what level of function do I want? Do I have any other servers that I plan to join to this domain that are at these different levels of functionality? If you're only going to be adding new server 2008 levels then select the server 2008 because it gives you more features. Uh, if you're going to maybe have some legacy equipment or legacy operating systems that you may need to add to your operate uh, add to your network later, select which level you may want to use. Uh, for my purposes I may or may not add a Windows Server 2003 install so I'll go ahead and select this level again keeping in mind that that reduces a few of the features that I have if instead of choosing the 2008. So I'll click next. I need to install a DNS server the domain name system. 
I say I'm going to give this uh, PC, this server, a static IP address. So let's do that real quick. First, what I want to do is see what IP address I have right now. So easy way to do that. So right now I'm using 1.110. So what I'm doing now is actually going into the properties of my network uh, controller, my network card. I'm just using IP version 4. Right now, I believe I'm using 110, but just to ensure that I don't run into any issues later, I'm going to use something that my DHCP server is likely not ever going to assign. Okay, so I've changed my IP address information. So now I have a static IP address. Go back to my Active Directory promotion. So now I hit next. Going to accept the defaults here. And this is where I will create my password. This password is important that you always remember it because if you ever uh, have a crash or need to switch services or roles in your Active Directory, you'll need that password to recover. So do this. You'll notice here that the step currently displaying on the screen is installing the Group Policy Management Console. So this is one of the things that are done automatically when you promote your server to a domain controller. And this is a good thing for uh, managing different policies in different groups and computers on your network. Another step in this promotion process is the Active Directory domain services is configured. It creates the schema, uh, it creates all the objects in Active Directory. After the promotion completes, you will see this screen it says completing the Active Directory domain services installation wizard. Uh, it's telling you that the uh, Active Directory services are now installed. It gives you the name of your domain. And what we want to do is click finish and we should restart. So that should conclude the, the, that should conclude this tutorial. Thank you for watching.